What's the crack, lads? We are back with another MVP Ultimate Training Guide. Nuno Mendes, lads, this guy is an absolute unit. And I think, genuinely, I think there are two players in this pack that are must-haves. Even if you have cover at left back and you have a brilliant player at left back like Carlos or you have somebody that you play as a back three or a back five or whatever, I think Nuno Mendes does offer you a very unique card, especially when you can get him for free. So number one, he's an offensive fullback, which means that no matter what, he's going to be very attacking. So you need to be aware of that. He's kind of like Carlos. He also has speeding bullet and early crosser as his play style. And we have that beautiful, beautiful tripod as well of stats that you want and player skills, I should say, that you want from a wing back or a left back, which is low lofted pass for switches across or up the wing to your winger or your, you know, uh, attacking midfielder. Your pinpoint crossing for crosses into your target man or for switching big, big crosses across. And then we also have interception, which will cover a lot of his defensive frailties, right? On top of that, you've got long range shooting and you've got slight and tackle and acrobatic clearance and chop turn and all that. That's brilliant. He also has unwavering form, which is insane for this card, which is really, really nice for this card. And we also have all his abilities uh, or his team play style abilities at 90. So he can fit into any squad. So that's the first thing that kind of covers everything there, right? He is a five-star nominating contract. You can get a free five-star nominating contract, obviously, from the match pass. I will do a review on the match pass as well, uh, whether I think it's worth it or not. But we do have two really, really class options for him. So the first one is going to be a central, a center back. This guy can play left mid or left back. Um... And of course, he can play centre back as well. So I think he's a bit of a hidden gem. Not a hidden gem, but he is being a bit slept on at centre back. And I'll tell you why, right? So when we go over to eFootball DB here, we do have his centre back version built up here. Now we have just pretty much maxed out his defending with 18 points there, right? 18 points go into that. And it gives us, look, on the surface there, it gives us a fairly average um, centre back. It gives us a fairly average centre back that you can get, you know, a lot better centre-backs in this situation, right? But I would liken this guy to kind of um, Alaba. That's who I would liken him to the most. Um, now, he is down as an offensive fullback, So I would be playing this guy as like a, a kind of a centre-back um, option, but obviously have him as a left-back. So if you were playing three centre-backs and then a left-back, um, this would be a very defensive-minded left-back or a left full-back if you wanted to go down that route. I think his best position is probably going to be that center back position if you're playing him there because of the stats that he'll have um, with this build. I think it's something that you could look at because, look, the, bi the biggest thing that you need to, to do if you are playing with somebody like this, right? If you're used to playing with Alaba, you need to be able to play a bit of possession football. If you're just going to be hoofing the ball, literally just get a defender in here. Don't even waste your time with Nuno Mendes. Just get somebody here with 95 plus in every one of these stats. That's as slow as molasses, lads, right? But this guy has got 94 acceleration with 82 balance, 84 speed. He's also got fairly average jump and physical contact, which is grand. And header is average as well, but he does have acrobatic clear. And then, of course, you do have the defensive capabilities with a bit of dribbling thrown in as well. Now, look, you don't really need that much speed as a centre back. Um, and that's something that you could take uh, look at if you wanted to even throw one more into that. You know, you could you could potentially put 20 into that to get 88 tackling. And then when he does have the player former, that's going to go to 90, okay? Well, you still have 87 speed. But I genuinely think having the speed there is probably is probably key to this card. You know what I mean? So that is something that I would definitely look at as a center back. He is going to be very dominant. Now, the more exciting option, I think, is this left back, left kind of wing back slash left midfield hybrid. So it's three positions in one, okay? Now, he's going to go to a 94 overall, okay? And it's going to be 8 into passing and dribbling, 10 into dexterity, 9 into lower body, 1 into aerial strength, and 5 into defending. And again, you can kind of tweak this with whatever formation that you have. If you're playing a 3-5-2 or you're playing a 3-2-3-2 with a lot of flexibility with your squad, I think this guy is one of the best players that you could have that's not Roberto Carlos, right? Staying away from the fact that he has 86 dribble, 80 lofted pass, and 81 ball control, he also has 73 tackling, 70 defensive awareness, and he has 97 acceleration with 93 speed, 85 balance, and 90 stamina. Now, again, we have gone a bit overkill, of course, with this. I would make two slight additions to this. I would keep the offensive awareness and defensive awareness identical if you want perfect balance there, 70 and 70. That frees up a couple of more slots if you wanted to. So you could put the tackling at 75. 
You could put the aggression at 70 if you wanted to go that route. If you wanted to have him a small bit more defensive minded, um, you could have that if you wanted to. Or else you could decide that you want to have a little bit more passing. If you wanted to do that, you could get 81 on the lofted pass. And then you could get another little 80. You could get another one on to defend in there to have 75 tackling. That's a very decent left back, left winger hybrid as well. And of course, as I said, you have pinpoint crossing, low lofted pass, and you also have interception, sliding tackle, and acrobatic clearance, which is which is very, very nice for this card. So yeah, I definitely think don't sleep on that version of Nuno Mendes, lads, especially as a center back. He will be absolutely rapid. If you are used to playing with slow, you know, cumbersome kind of like center backs, really, really slow uh, center backs, this guy will do a serious job for you. So that is it for me. I will be back in a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll be back in a bit.